Good morning everybody. Welcome to Law Minds. Today we will talk about how to legally change your name in India. Okay. So let's talk about the significance of a name first. So when we talk about the significance, the first thing that comes to our mind is that a name is used to call us. So of course, that's the most obvious use of a name and the most important one as well. Now there is an emotional or sentimental value that is attached to a name as well. So basically when our parents name us then they do so after certain individuals that they appreciate or certain values that they honor and you know really respect. Okay. So and there is a historical aspect to it as well. So when we talk about the historical aspect we can take examples of certain royal families which uh, whose surnames hold a different kind of weightage and it gives us insights about the historical contribution so that's it for the significance of a name so why do people need to change their name when it is so significant so let's talk about certain reasons the first one being marriage so we all know the practice wherein the woman adopts her husband's surname okay the vice versa is also happening but yeah let's stick to the conventional norms and then there's divorce of course okay where you need to go back to your maiden name or then there is maybe you converted to a different religion that's when you need to change your name okay oh uh, then there can be other reasons as well so i wanted to include other reasons because i believe that we all believe in certain things right throughout our lives and our beliefs keep on changing right so because of the dynamic nature of our beliefs we may find out at certain stages of our lives maybe at later stages of our lives that our name doesn't align with the values we hold so that's why there can be endless reasons why you think you need a name change okay so there are basically very personal reasons right now let's understand the laws that govern name change okay so it's important to understand that this whole subject lies with the state so the jurisdiction of the state applies and not the central jurisdiction so that's why there are no central laws okay that's why i've crossed in front of central laws because there are no central laws okay so the state makes rules and regulations uh, and because uh, this is a subject of the state list that's why i'm sorry because it is a subject of the state jurisdiction that's why it differs from state to state okay now you might have a question that why do we need a legal procedure to change our names why can't i just go go around and tell my family that from tomorrow you can call me whatever your new name and just i, I can only inform the people that i know right why do i need to follow a legal procedure so basically the importance of following a legal procedure lies in the fact that when you follow a legal procedure to change your name then you can avail benefits of government schemes and uh, whatever other benefits because uh, when you change your name legally then it is recognized okay by the government and it will be a less chaotic process and you can smoothly enjoy the benefits of the government right like whatever the schemes are right so now what are the prerequisites or the preconditions or who is eligible for a name change now the first thing is the age criteria you need to be 18 years or older then there is a citizenship criteria so you need to be an indian citizen then there is the fact that you should not have any legal issues pending so why the logic behind this is that it would hamper court proceedings right because you know all the documents and all now so what are the documents required right what are the documents required for this process so the first thing is you need to have an identity proof 
both original and photocopy. Now this point applies for all the documents involved in this process. You need to have the original and photocopy. Okay. So yes. So as I stated, identity proof and you need to have passport size photographs because you're going to need it at so many different places throughout this whole procedure. You need to have supporting documents. Now, what are supporting documents? Supporting documents are basically documents that support your reason. Okay. They are the documents that support your reason of change of name. Right. So if you're getting married, then you need to have, you know, the documents that act as evidence for your marriage. Divorce, then similarly, evidence for divorce. And RC, RC stands for religious conversions, as I've stated. So, yeah, you need to have documents for that as well. So, what are the stages involved? So, different stages include affidavit submission, publication in a newspaper, and the gazette notification. Okay, let's talk about stage one or step one. So, in the affidavit submission, where does that happen? In the notary office okay and you will get to know about uh, what stamp paper has to be used by the uh, officials there only okay and you need to provide the like this information which includes your name old and new your current address and the reason for name change okay this affidavit needs to be signed by two witnesses and according to the legal procedure, it needs to be signed by two persons of gazetted officer rank. Okay. Now, for married women, if you're talking about married women, then they need to provide their old name, like the evidence of their old name and uh, documents verifying their father's name, father's address. They need to provide their new name, again documents supporting their husband's name, husband's address and the date of their marriage. Okay, again point to be noted, please, please, please keep the original as well as the photocopy documents, photocopy of all the above stated documents. Okay, now well, the step two or stage two includes the newspaper publication. Okay, so you need to select two newspapers. Okay, two newspapers, one has to be published in the state's official language and the second should be an English daily. Okay, now what will you publish in the newspaper? So the details that need to be published include your new name, your old name, your date of birth and your address. Okay, now step three or stage three is the gazette notification now it is mandatory for government employees and optional for others okay so what are the documents required okay so the documents required include a copy of the deed changing name form which is available with the collector of i'm sorry controller of publication department of publication and you need to have a letter of declaration from you stating the need for changing the name. You need to have the original copies of advertisements published with dates. Now published where? Published in the newspaper. Okay. Original copies. Right. You need to have two attested photographs. Right. To ensure you go ahead with the procedure smoothly you need to have your address and identity proofs okay i'm um, sorry one second yeah okay yes so you need to have your address and identity proofs okay and these proofs need to be the same as published in the newspaper and the affidavit okay right so yeah, so these need to be the same as published
as published in the newspaper and as stated in the affidavit okay all right so as i said so then uh, these proofs need to be the same as published in the newspaper and stated in the affidavit right now there is a certain fees that needs to be paid for the publication of the gazette notification now the fees can be 700 or 900 700 if you if uh, yeah so if you want the notify if you do not want notification to be a public notice and 900 if you want it to be a public notice okay now what about minors are minors eligible so yes minors are very well eligible for name change the process remains the same it's just that key now it needs to be performed by the parents okay so yeah so it needs to be performed by the parents because under you know yeah one second okay so it needs to be performed by the parents because as under the indian majority act of 1875 as i've stated here it states that a minor is anyone under the age of 18 right and under the age of 18 the parents need to go ahead with the formalities and that's the process for the minors and so after you have changed your name according to the legal process you need to update your pan card your aadhaar card your voters id and your driving license and any other government documents that uh, need updation okay so yes that's about it by following all the above steps you have changed your name and now you're lawfully can be called by your new name so thank you for your kind attention that's about it please like subscribe this channel for more future legal updates